looking at disparities between certain countries with individual indices such as infant mortality, literacy rate, education expenditure, and GDP. First off, let's start by looking at two countries and using infant mortality as the indice. The two countries being compared are France and Niger. France's infant mortality rate is 3.36, whereas Niger has an outstanding 115.42 mortality rate, showing a major disparity between the two countries. Reasons being their level of development, disease, birth and death rates. Also, France is an MEDC and Niger is seen as an LEDC, which already show major disparities in other areas, not just infant mortality, with France having a HDI rating of 0.884 and Niger just 0.295. HDI takes into account GDP per capita, literacy rate and infant mortality. Now let's look at literacy rate between India and the UK. The United Kingdom has an overall literacy rate of 99% for its total population, whereas India only has a literacy rate of 61% for its total population, which in comparison to a majority of Asia is rather low. As you can see, most of the globe has a relatively high literacy rate, apart from Africa and a small disparity of Asia. This could be due to the fact that in, in, in India, the average amount of years a child goes to school is 4.4 years, whereas in the UK, the average amount of years a child goes to school is 9.3. This gap in education could be the factor for this for this disparity between literacy rate in India and the United Kingdom as there is a six year difference in the expected amount of years a child should go to school. In the United Kingdom it is 16 and in India it is 10 years. Looking at Australia and the United States of America for education expenditure, a clear pattern can be seen and that is both countries spend a very similar percentage of their GDP on education. 5.3% in the United States and 4.5% in Australia, with USA's GDP being $41,761 compared to Australia's GDP of $34,250. However, Australia has a much smaller overall GDP to USA and a higher expected years of education in Australia 18 years and in America it is 16 years. However, one potential reason for this minor disparity is the sum of the GDP and size of country. America have to cope with much more educational wise rather than Australia. All these factors show reasons why education expenditure is slightly higher in the USA than Australia. But taking everything into account, such as the, the population size of Australia and America and um, GDP, if Australia was the same size as the USA, would be doing potentially slightly better than the USA, showing a reason for the disparities of educational expenditure between the USA and Australia. Finally, let's look at the gross domestic product per capita or GDP between two NICs, China and Brazil. The way gross domestic product is calculated is a country's consumption plus investment plus government spending plus exports take away the country's imports. China's GDP is $5,400, whereas Brazil's GDP is $9,500. Both countries are in a similar stage currently, both NICs with an increasing economy. Brazil, however, has a much lower literacy rate compared to China, with it being 88.6% literacy rate of the total population and China's being 90.9% of the overall population. But Brazil have a much higher education expenditure, with 4% of Brazil's GDP going towards education and only 1.9% of China's GDP going towards education expenditure. Which asks the question, why does it seem to be a more globalised country to China, due to the fact China has many imports and exports and makes many different products for many major companies around the world. There are two potential reasons for this. A natural population growth, which China is, is currently controlling with the one-child policy, and economy, which China is also fixing and changing and not letting it change by its own will, whereas Brazil 
have no policies introduced to reduce population or any way of changing their economies. And these two reasons could be a major factor to the disparities between China and Brazil with their gross domestic product or GDP per capita. All of these factors put together and studied are crucial since these are the factors that show where the disparities between the countries arise.